Okay, so rational indices summed up by that law there. So let's use this law for some examples. So we're going to be doing indices to thirds and thirds to indices. So copy down the first example. So the square root as of 15 as an indice using the law we just learnt. Any ideas? Let's try and put our hands up, Emma. But thank you. 15 to the power of half. Okay, so if there's no if there's no number over here, it's the same as writing it as this. Which is 15 to the half. Okay. Next one. 6x squared to the 7 to the power of a half. Okay, so now we have, we can split them up. 6 to the power of a half. And x to the power of what? Seven over two. Just leave it as a fraction. That's okay. I bet you someone else was thinking it, so that was good that we talked about that. So you leave it as a fraction. You don't convert it to a decimal. So we have a coefficient out the front, so we just leave that. We then have a to the 4 root, which is also being to the power of 5. So like the rule before, if we have m and n, it becomes a to the power of m divided by n. So we're just putting the 5 on top. And dividing by the 4. Next one. Any ideas? Yeah. So the square root of 9 is 3. So it's just 27. Sure. You'll get it right either way. Because an invisible power is the same as no power. Mm. The same as the power of one. Yeah. Got. Okay, this one. So we're just going back the other way. Going to third form. Cube root of seven. So I'm just taking the number on the bottom and putting it in front of the third root symbol thing. Does that make sense? Next one, we've got a number on the top. So what's the rule for the number on the top? It goes on the right. So squared, and this is the cube root. Okay, so finding the value 81 to the power of a half. What's that the same as? Square root of 81, which is 9. You don't have to do this step in the middle. I'm just showing you. You can just go straight to 9 if you know how to do that. Okay, next one. 81 is the same as what third? Ah, uh, sorry. 1 over 4 is the same as what third? The four third or the square root. I don't know how to say it. The four square root. Something like that. Which is evaluating it, we find the value three. Because eighty one is three times three times three. Sure. This is another way to show the working like that. See the 4 root cancels out the 4 power. So that's another way to show how it works. Is there any questions? No? So I found the value. One more. 
So I've got 27 to the 2 over 3. So the 2, where's the 2 go? On the right, and the 3 is on the left. Okay. So you could go... Um, three. I don't know. This one's hard. I guess three cubed. Three cubed. Three cubed is twenty-seven, right? So three, three cubed is twenty-seven, multiplied by two, right? That's what the inside is. So then the cube root cancels out the 3. So you're just left with 3 squared. Chico's 9. So that one cancels out that one. Um, here's, a, here's another way of showing it. 3... So we've got 3 cubed, right? That's 27 squared. And the cube root is the same as what fraction? 1 over 3. So now we have 3 to the power of 3 times 2 times a third. <laughs> okay, back to the beginning. So we've got this one, right? We've got the... 3 root, which is the same as this. So, yeah, there's many different ways to do that one. 